<laughs> that grand score, the, the collector's edition actually that uh, we'll talk about in just a, a second. So uh, the Grand Sport is kind of the, the middle car. Uh, you have the Stingray, uh, as we call it entry level, it's hardly entry level, uh, and then Z06 as the, the top dog. Uh, and the Grand Sport kind of combines a lot of the great attributes of both cars, so the naturally aspirated engine, but with all the other performance hardware uh, available. In terms of performance bandwidth uh, across the model line, you can see uh, from Stingray up to Z06, there was 64 uh, seconds uh, flat, 0 60, that's the slowest car uh, we make, uh, and then go sub 3 on a Z06 uh, automatic. Quarter mile time, low 12s, uh, down to high 10s uh, on the Z06, and uh, skid pad cornering, um, you guys probably know we uh, have some of the best cornering cars in the world, uh, going from 1 to 1.2 Gs. Uh, in terms of the model differentiation, just so you can kind of be a, a Grand Sport uh, spotter, uh, one nice thing about the naturally operated engine is you can have the low hood. Uh, a lot of people are really impressed that you can do a V8 front engine car and keep the hood uh, as low as it is. Uh, we've had compliments from design organizations around the world scratching their head as to how we're able to do that. And so having the, the, the bulging uh, fenders and quarters, uh, that aggressive look, but then still keeping that uh, low hood for good forward visibility, it's a really nice uh, and unique combination of the Grand Sport. We do some uh, things aesthetically a little bit different to distinguish the model. So the grill color is a little bit of a different texture. Uh, the tail lights are keeping in red and keeping the smoke to the neutral density uh, tail lamps uh, unique to the Z06. Uh, we've developed two different kinds of quarter ducts. The original Stingray had a flush louvered uh, quarter duct. And then we developed a higher flowing version uh, for the Z06. And so um, that's the version that uh, comes on the Grand Sport. In fact, the Grand Sport gets all the high-end cooling. Uh, it's kind of the most robust uh, track cooling package uh, we've ever put on the street. So it gets that high quarter duct for the inlet for the uh, trans and dip cooler. And we're doing it in monochrome, so it's in uh, body color, uh, as distinct from the uh, carbon flash accent that we have on the Z06. Uh, of course, you get all of the wide uh, body work, and Corvettes historically uh, have been identified by their front uh, fender cove, and so that gets a unique uh, treatment as well uh, for the Grand Sport. Uh, caliper colors, you start with uh, black and gray uh, on Stingray and, uh, and Grand Sport, and then red is kind of the, the starting point for the Z06. Of course, we have optional uh, caliper covers, so people are able to mix and max and, and create uh, dream combinations, uh, whatever they can uh, imagine uh, for the um, for their dream car. And uh, finally, the aero package. Um, we're putting the most aggressive aero uh, on this car. Um, you don't get the stage three that we put on the Z06. That's the very big end plates on the front splitter and the clear wicker bridge. We've not found a track where that's faster on the Grand Sport. It works really well with 650 horsepower, but it's more drag than the, uh, the Grand Sport likes. And so, um, you can still get those parts as an accessory uh, if you want to. There may be a track somewhere in the world where it makes sense, but uh, we don't think so. So our top level is uh, available to uh, aero package. In terms of pricing, um, uh, not a lot of pricing changes. Um, you know, we're trying to hold the line on pricing as much as we can. So the Stingray uh, coupe starts at 50, 60s are all including uh, destination uh, charge, um, 4,000 more uh, for the convertible. Then Z51 uh, goes up to 61 and 65, and then the Grand Sport comes in at 66 and uh, seventy thousand um, dollars. The Z06 price is uh, almost unchanged, starting at 80 and uh, 84. Uh, in terms of more uh, detail on the Grand Sport, um, you know, it comes with the, the standard LT1 engine, so 460 horsepower, 465 foot-pounds of torque, the standard Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. And uh, Brembo brakes, iron brakes, they're shared with the standard uh, Z06. And I already talked about the, uh, the uh, body uh, content. A lot of the tuning parts are specifically tuned for the Grand Sport, so things like springs and bars and shock. But then all the other things you don't think about, all the electronic controls, ABS, traction control, um, stability systems, all have to be uh, custom uh, engineered for this. Uh, standard equipment is magnetic selective ride and the ELSD, which really helps uh, stabilize the car out there, makes it easy to drive. 
first time on Grand Sport, we're offering the top level uh, chassis content, so Z07, uh, like it is on the Z06, includes uh, remote carbon ceramic brakes, the biggest rotors we can fit inside the wheels, and you'll be really happy to have those as you come down this front straightaway at about 130 miles an hour and come into the tightest corner hairpin at the bottom, and it's all downhill and it gets steeper as you get to the hairpin, so you'll be really happy uh, to have those brakes on hand. Uh, we got the Michelin uh, Sport 2 Cup tires, uh, some of the grippiest tires uh, in the world. Uh, that helps us produce the 1.2 G's lateral acceleration and some of the best uh, braking distances uh, in the world. Uh, under 100 feet uh, braking from 60 miles an hour to zero. And when we introduced these uh, on the uh, Z06, we talked about you can stop from 25 miles an hour to zero in the length of the car. The car's about 180 inches long, so you can go 25 to zero and 180 inches. So really, really uh, impressive stopping capability, and you'll, you'll see that on the track. You add it all up together, you know, it's a really well-balanced car, uh, great weight distribution, and uh, in our testing at our Milford Proving Grounds, the Grand Sport is uh, less than a second behind the C6 ZR1, which was a, a benchmark uh, car for its time. Of course, you get all the regular uh, performance and technology that comes with the Corvette, including the PDR, which I hope you'll make heavy use of today. We're going to give you a uh, flash drive to put in so you can record all your laps and compare them to others, compare them to Ollie's. You can come in here if you want and uh, look at your laps compared to Oliver Gavin. If you beat him, we'll set up a conference call. And <laughs> you can give him some pointers uh, for Lime Rock this weekend. I guess he'd probably appreciate that. Uh, of course, you get all the other uh, things like uh, Chevrolet MyLink and uh, Apple CarPlay and uh, Amazon Auto. And uh, I didn't mention PTM in the chassis controls, but that's also custom tuned uh, for the Grand Sport. In terms of design, um, you know we've got the car. You can get a car that looks just like the uh, the collector's car in '96, and that's making a lot of people, a lot of our current cars, happy. A lot of people really uh, love that car. But you can get 10 uh, exterior colors. You get uh, specific uh, interior uh, Grand Sport uh, cues. We're actually bringing back a wheel we've used before. We call it a, a cup wheel. It's one of the lightest, stiffest wheels uh, we ever made. Uh, we used it on a C6, and everybody loved it. And um, it kind of didn't get, it didn't have a lot of penetration. And so we thought, you know what, we'll bring that back. It's one nice thing about uh, carrying over your bolt circle from year to year and wheel offsets you can actually use tires and wheels uh, from past generations, and it's really nice uh, for the aftermarket as well. It comes in a bunch of different colors, and um, you can actually get uh, red safety belts. Uh, it's a nice little cute. People think that's a, a real sporty look. And then the collector's edition. This is one that Oliver Gavin uh, wants. We're only going to make a thousand of these. Um, it's a top contented car. has a unique bin sequence. It comes in one of our new colors for 2017. That's uh, Watkins, Glenn, uh, gray metallic. Uh, you can see the car right around the corner here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we've seen this trend where people do uh, kind of conservatively base colored cars, but then do vibrant accents. And that's what this car is. It has what we call tension blue accents. So the hash marks are tension blue. And then the whole interior is tension blue as well. Uh, we've seen a big increase in people buying our red interiors. And because it's not like wall-to-wall -wall red, it has really nice accented uh, red interiors that's uh, really moved up in uh, option penetration. So this is kind of a blue counterpoint uh, to that. Um, we have a lot of people um, sending us letters that they wish they could get this on other combinations, but we're holding it special uh, for this collector's edition. Uh, the Heritage package includes um, the content you see here and uh, some interior content. And you've got 10 exterior colors, you've got uh, six colors of racing stripes, you've got six colors of hash marks. You can mix and match with brake caliper colors, and so there's almost an infinite combination of things that you can do. Everything from kind of subtle, sophisticated tone on tone to vibrant, high contrast graphics. And um, just this isn't all of them, this is just some of them. It's cycling through here. Um, I think we're going to, you know, customers all want a one of one car, you know, they want something unique, uh, something that in their imagination is the best possible version of the car. And so we're trying to give them as many choices as possible. So that's the story for Grand Sport. Really looking forward to you guys uh, driving it today and 
Uh, want to make sure you guys give us feedback as you get out of the car, what your impressions are. There's a bunch of us wearing the white shirts. Uh, you can talk to any of us about uh, what your experience or any other questions that you have. <laughs>